Hi everyone, a few of the um, keyboard related shortcuts that we have in After Effects. Um, the important thing to realize why we do this is that this, this business of moving the pointer around our screen, it um, accounts for about 20% of our productivity with um, using computers. So that means uh, in a five day week, you are working week that is, you are spending one entire day just moving your mouse around. You're not clicking on anything, you're not creating pixels, you're not destroying pixels, you're not animating pixels. You're just getting Mr. Pointy from one side of the screen to the other. So, a way to become more effective is, of course, to learn some handy keyboard shortcuts. And that's what we're here to do. So let's move to our um, topic in question, which is this little illustration of a bus. The first most obvious shortcuts for us to know is um, part of the word tramps, which stands for T for our opacity. I'm just going to hide that layer so we can't see it at the moment and I'll cover making layers shy some other time. So you can see here I've selected the bus layer. Um, if I press T I get opacity. If I press R I get rotation. If I press A that gets to the anchor point. M shows nothing. Now it does, it just shows masks. There are no masks on this um, layer at the moment, so when I press M I don't get anything. Now to prove my point, here is a mask being drawn, so if I press M on the keyboard now, there is the mask. So I'll just select that and I'll remove it. So going back to the full object. After M, we have P, P for position. We have S for scale, and that makes up the word tramps. Now, if I include the shift key with that, it means that I can have more than one parameter visible at a time. So, opacity, rotation, anchor point, masks, there aren't any, position, and we can see that scale was already up there. And so there's all the main animatable, because they have their little wee clocks, um, transforms that are available for every layer in After Effects. So those are the basic ones. Let's say if I wanted to quickly set a keyframe, if I hold down the Option key and press P, we see that that adds a keyframe. So if I come over here, and I'll just go to moving the bus. Now you would have noticed I pressed the V key for the move tool. We see now I have my two keyframes. Now, that takes us to our next group. If I have a whole bunch of keyframes, so let's say I'm just going to, for um, no real reason here, I'm just going to move the bus back and forward. There we go. Let's go back and forward yet again. And um, we see now that I have uh, five keyframes on the timeline. If I want to quickly get between each of those keyframes, because there may be a chance that I want to edit one of them, then I could use two new um, keyboard shortcuts. I have J, which takes me back to a previous keyframe. Or I can press K, which takes me forward to the next keyframe. And we see that they replicate what happens here with this little navigator. To make my animation play, well, first of all, I need to set the um, in points and out points for my preview area, and then I need to preview. Well, if I say want to start looking here, if I press N on the keyboard, 
I'm selecting the end. I've actually shown you the wrong shortcut there. If I press B, I'm setting the beginning. If I come over here and press N, I'm setting the end. So now when I press the space bar to play the video, we can see that we are shuttling back and forward between this point and that point. So J backwards, K forwards. B and end, B for the beginning, N for the ending. When we have a layer in After Effects, sometimes we don't want it to exist for the whole duration of the composition. It might be that we're just using something for a short amount of time. Now, if I unshy this layer, we see here at, um, and let's turn it on, there we go, and I'll just hide that one for the mo moment, we see that handy keyboard shortcuts, well, once we get past here, it disappears. So this is just like something being marked in and marked out on the timeline of a program, for example, like um, Premiere. The short form way of doing that in um, After Effects, instead of going to the in point and dragging it along, and the same with the out point, you see here when I get to the out point that I do have a change of um, cursor. The shortcut is going Option, left square bracket. I could come along here and go option right square bracket. And now my layer is trimmed to just where I need it. Once again, if I turn on visibility, we will see that, yes, it is still there. Um, <clears throat> if I get my keyframes, I can use the standard um, keyboard shortcuts of Command C to copy my keyframes. And if I come somewhere along and I go Command V, we see that it pastes all the keyframes from wherever the current time indicator is. There are times when we are wanting to change the um, behavior of our composition as well. So you see I'm in a composition called Keyboard Shortcuts. If I want to bring open those composition settings, um, mostly we may want to change the background color, or we may want to change the duration of our composition because it is either too long or too short. The shortcut for that is Command K, and it brings up all the original composition settings that um, we have when we first set a new composition. And you see there they are looking exactly the same. So I'll just get rid of that. The escape key always closes a dialog box. So if I, um, for example, go Command I for import, if I press escape, it cancels that window away. When I have something that has been animated, now I don't have anything that's animated at the moment. Let's say I'm just going to set a um, scale keyframe. There we go. And I will just hide all its parameters. If I want to see only the animated properties for a layer, I just need to press the U key. And you see that I get everything where animation has been set, which is only on the scale parameter. If I quickly tap the U key twice, we see that I not only get the things that are animated, but I also get to see um, position coming up. Now that isn't animated, but its original placement in the composition has changed. In other words, I've moved it around. So pressing U twice will show you all the parameters in a layer that have been changed from the original. What does the original look like? Well, if I just click on the reset button, 
we see that's how it originally came in. So if I press U twice now, we see that has actually disappeared. I'll turn off scale, I press U, and everything has gone. Finally, the last thing that I'm going to add is um, for this video is these things here, these little um, markers that I have put in the um, main timeline of this composition. What I can do with them is that if I press zero on my keyboard, you see that I snap to that one. If I press one, and if I press two, so you can see that I can jump to them very quickly. And so these may be areas that you're wanting to show someone you're collaborating with or a client or your tutor. And so you can quickly jump to a particular area. The way to set them is very easy. You hold down the shift key and then you press the number. So here is marker number four. Shift, here is marker number five. Shift. Here is marker number six. And so we see that I can jump from one to the other pretty easily. If I wish to remove them, I have to right mouse click, delete this marker, or right mouse click, delete all markers. And then finally, if I want to get to the very beginning of my composition, I press home. And if I want to get to the very end of my composition, I press end, and these are keys on the keyboard, and that succinctly is the end of this video. Thank you for watching, and if you've got any questions, just throw me a line. Cool.